week from today, a trial for Alec Murdoch will begin. A jury will determine whether Murdoch killed his wife and son. Blair Sable is in Carlton County, and she explains what we know about the day of the crimes as laid out in evidence so far. Here at Moselle, the Murdoch family property in Colleton County is where Maggie and Paul Murdoch were discovered dead by the dog kennels. The very man who called 911 to report the crime now facing charges in their murders on the world stage. It is the night of June 7th, 2021. Alec Murdoch says he discovered the bodies of his wife and son and alerts authorities around 10.05 p.m. Okay, and did you hear anything or did you come home and find them? No, man, I've been gone. I, I just came back. Maggie is shot and killed with a rifle. Paul shot and killed with a shotgun. <laughs> Nobody. They're not. Neither one of them moving. State investigators from SLED swarm the property but stay quiet for 13 months. But in July 2022, the other shoe drops. Murdoch is charged with two counts of murder and two counts of possession of a firearm during the commission of a violent crime. The South Carolina Attorney General's office believes the crimes took place sometime between 8.30 and 10.06 that night. The coroner's office places the time of death between 9 and 9.30. Murdoch was initially reported to have been visiting his father on his deathbed for several hours before the discovery. But his official alibi places him with his mother and her nurse's aide at her house in Varnville for a total of 20 minutes during that narrow window of time. His defense states he was at Moselle around 8.30 and left a few minutes after 9 and was at the house from 9.20 to 9.45 and he returned back to the property shortly after 10. He claims he last saw Maggie and Paul alive when he left to visit his mother and had several phone conversations with five people during his travels, including his other son Buster and friends like Chris Wilson. In the 911 call, an operator tells Murdoch to avoid touching the bodies for evidence, but he tells them it's too late. I already touched them trying to get a, um, to see if they were breathing. Murdoch was wearing a white cotton shirt that night, which according to court documents has been tested for high velocity blood spatter. A video was also taken that day according to the defense. The lighthearted conversation captured on Paul's cell phone about the family dog they write shows there is absolutely no indication of disagreement or dispute amongst them. It's unclear at what time this video was taken. Meanwhile, the state calls June 7th a perfect storm for the once prominent lawyer. Lead prosecutor Creighton Waters argued in court that the murders were an attempt to buy sympathy and time to cover up his financial wrongdoings on the precipice of being exposed. This is a white collar case that culminated with two murders. On the same day of the crimes, prosecutors argue a staffer from Murdoch's former law firm was demanding answers about hundreds of thousands of dollars of missing money. And a hearing was coming up in just days' time about a separate lawsuit that could have revealed his financial records. Would he be so desperate as to kill to, to conceal that? That is the central question that is going to be front and center in the murder trial. Murdoch's defense team has called the theory illogical and implausible. And that was Blair Sable reporting for us. We will have full coverage of that Alec Murdoch murder trial on the air, online, through our Fox Carolina News app. Again, that starts a week from today, next Monday.